Now, delighted that joining me this morning is Nick Levins from Kingdom Calling Music. Good morning, Nick. Good morning to you. Well, I must start off by asking you, because you could have called your band The Beatles or Oasis, but you called it Kingdom Calling Music. So why that? Um, I I think really because um, I felt God was calling me. And um, and he did in a very in a very big way um, back in about 2010, and I just felt that God really is calling all of us and to remind us to that He wants us back into His kingdom, and just to remember that He's there for us, and that's what Kingdom Calling is all about. Really, it's um, a lot of new music that we've written um, to tell people about Jesus, God in the Bible, and through that I've shared my story and coming to know Christ. So, how did the band come together? Um, it took a long time and a lot of perseverance and a lot of prayer um, to begin with. I used to be a drummer in, the Christ, in a Christian um, worship band, and then one day the lead worshipper and her husband were poorly, and I just felt called cool to pick up my guitar, transpose everything into the key of G. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the only, that's the only chords that I knew, and um, and went for it. And then a bit later on, we went to Big Church Day Out, and I saw Phil Wickham, and I thought, yeah, I think I could do that. <laughs> um, obviously not. Um, and um, God started giving me all these tunes and all these um, these lovely words. And um, I started putting them down and putting them to music. And it was about five years before I finally got a band together through three different churches of musicians. And, um, yeah, we've been playing together for a couple of years now um, and bringing, the, bringing the, the, the word of God in Jesus through music. So where, um, where is the band based? Um, it's based in St. Barnabas in Bear Wood. Um, it's a very evangelical type of church. Um, but yeah, we're sort of looking really to come and play at other people's establishments, really, and um, for them to bring their friends along and, and hear all about Jesus through some great music. So where do you get the inspiration from? Is it something that you've read? Is it something you've seen? Because obviously writing songs, meaningful songs, is not an easy task. No, man, I give God the credit for it, honestly. Um, I just feel it's all very God-inspired. I was just what he's chosen me to do for him. Um, I'm not a very talented guy, but the music that's come out, and I think it's through my experiences of uh, going through some very challenging times in about 2010 through a a breakup, and I I could have gone down many paths. Um, but luckily, a few very wonderful Christian friends sort of held me together, she told me about Jesus, and that's the path that I went down, luckily, when mm. there was many different difficult places I could have gone, you know. So, um, and through those experiences, I've just thought, well, this is what Jesus has done for me. This is what he can do for other people, you know. So that's what I've written about, you know. I, I, I very much feel... We've got enough Matt Redmonds in the world <laughs> teaching Christian, Christians how to worship. Somebody needs to tell people through music, this is Jesus and this is what he can do in your life. And that's what we do. Many different types of, um, th- different genres of music, different styles. Um, so a bit of something for everyone, really. So obviously you have a strong Christian faith. So, so how did that start for you? Um... Like I sort of alluded to, really, um, I was in a very dark place. My marriage had broken down, and um, uh, I was really struggling to bring up three kids and try and work full-time. And a friend offered me a Freedom in Christ DVD, and um, I sort of listened to it. And then a very wonderful lady came into my life a little bit later who was a Christian, and she told me all about Jesus. And she said, Jesus will always come first. He'll always be the number one man in my life. So I thought, hang on a minute, I need to find out about this guy. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I did. And um, that lovely lady is now my wife, Emma. And she sings with us as well. And, um, yeah, it was that really that was the catalyst for me coming to know Jesus and um, having a really strong and thankful relationship with him because he turned my life around. As I said, it could have gone down many different difficult paths. 
Well, we're great. I didn't. I chose Jesus. <laughs> well, we're grateful that uh, that we've got some of your music, and uh, the first one that you've chosen is a track called "Now I Found You." So, do you want to unpack what that's about? Yeah, well, that's what I've just said. Really, is um, led into that very nicely. Um, it is a live recording, um, so it's very raw. Um, but yeah, it was about. It really talks about. You know, I could have gone down many different paths, drink, alcohol, anger, frustration, but I didn't. I chose the, I chose the path to Jesus, and that's really what Now I Found You is all about. And now I found him, I'm not ever going to let him go again. <laughs> Good on the you. Great thing is, the great thing is he won't let me go too. No, very true. So let's listen to the music, and then we'll back with Nick straight after that. was Nick Levens from Kingdom Calling Music with the beautiful track Now I Found You and Nick joins me again. So um, you're obviously into songwriting and you've got a band there based in, in Bearwood. Um, are the band uh, full-time musicians or do they all work and just get together for worship? 
Yeah, no, um, they, they all work. They all do their, their own thing um, through the week. Um, Steve on piano, Darren on the drums. Darren's got a shop down in Limington. Um, Ron plays bass. And Dave's here, the guitarist. And we've got the three singers, Emma, Chris and Eva, doing all those lovely harmonies. So, yeah, they all do, do their own thing. And they come together to worship God on a Sunday. And that's where we all met. Yeah, well, the music's great. So, do you have any musicians, songwriters that you particularly admire? Um, well, yes. I mean, I, I like all the great, great Christian writers. Um, uh, Chris Tomlin's a favourite of mine. Mm -hmm. um, Phil Phil Wickham was a big inspiration to me, and obviously Matt Redman that I've seen down at Big Church Day out a few times. He's amazing. And of course, he came to Winton as well a while back, and um, we saw him there. That was great. That was oh, really? Great I yeah, did. I didn't. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, in about 2012. Right. a big Bournemouth church there in Winton, yeah. Oh, he sneaked in there without us knowing. He did, <laughs> I yeah. mean, we've interviewed Matt Redman a number of times over the years, uh, and uh, Gordon T has obviously done interviews with Phil Wickham and people like yeah. that. Um, but the interesting thing, of course, is uh, in this country, Christian music, really important as part of the worship scene, and church, big, a big church day out is fantastic as well. But, of course, America has millions more of Christian music than we've ever got. They have a chart and everything else. Do you, do you envy that? Um, I don't know if I envy. Um, I don't think that's a, a, a good thing to have. Um, I think we can admire and respect. Um, but I think, you know, all of us have got our own, our own journey to go on. Um, and... And we've all got our own strengths and weaknesses, and my particular strength seems to be writing music. And I, like, yes, I, I've taken things from other people and inspirations, um, but I think we've got some great worship worship writers um, here in the UK as well. And may there be many more. So. If you're going to be writing pieces of music, is that something you sit down at a desk and with some musicians around you or, or instruments around you and say, we're going to write a song, or does it just come naturally? Um, see, I do things backwards. I'm, I'm a bit sort of um, <laughs> Bernie Taupin and Elton John sort oh, of yeah, style. Yeah. Whereas I start with the lyrics because, um, you know, and sometimes it can be only one little phrase. Um, and it, for instance, in the song that we just heard, I just heard, I didn't know you existed. And a song came from that. Or they were, there's a Facebook um, Christian group called Come Back to God. And I thought, Come Back to God. Come Back to God. And I wrote a song about com coming back to God. And uh, a Christian um, talking to somebody who's really exploring their Christian faith and maybe knowing God. It, as a child at Sunday school or something and this friend just says you just need to come back to God mm. and take that step of faith so there can be all sorts of little things but yeah I start with just uh, it tends to me that does the, does the writing at the moment um, not saying that the other people in the band right and um, yeah I just start with the words and, and God just pulls out these words to me and I, I've been very very fortunate in that and then from that and the style of the wording I, I can then find that I can I can find a, the tune that sort of fits it. Brilliant. It, it's great to hear. Good because it, it gives us different styles, you know, yeah. uh, it's different styles of songs. Well, it's great to hear how people do things differently in your way around of doing music, of course. Quite a few big hymn writers, of course, uh, had that sort of methodology. They actually came up with what was almost a, a poem uh, and then music got added to it at some point, sometimes, yeah. sometimes by them and sometimes by uh, other people. So uh, it's a tried and tested method. So, uh, well, well done for that. Uh, your second piece of music um, is a song called Truth. Uh, so obviously you're talking in the songs and, and in, in things that you share about Christian truth. So uh, tell us about this song. Um, I'm not going to go into it too much because there's quite an intro on the song from the live recording that talks about it. Yeah. Um, but it was basically about me deciding, um, OK, so I want to go and get baptised. And obviously we have this. Um, ideal that we're going to get baptised and we're going to come be washed, come out of the spirit and be this perfect person. And of course, it's not like that at all. Uh, and actually, when I gave all this bad stuff to Jesus at the cross, I suddenly like all these things I believed about myself. 
who was left? Who was left that was going to be any good to God? Um, and that's basically what the truth is all about. Is that the truth of who we are and who we can be in, in the name of Jesus. Well, thank you, Nick, for joining us today. Um, if people want to know more about the band, uh, how do they get in touch with you or how do they listen to the music? Well, yes, um, you can. You, basically, it's all on YouTube, but it's all on our, our Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash sing to Jesus. That's sing with a capital S to the number two and then Jesus with a capital J. Um, but basically, we'd love to come and play in your establishment um, and get you to bring your friends along and come, come and hear the message of Jesus and hear my story and, and God and the Bible. Um, we'd love to do that, so please get in touch. And my email is nlevins, L-E-V-E-N-S, 53 at gmail.com. And that Facebook page, facebook.com slash sing to Jesus. Thank you so much, Nick, for joining us today. So we'll hear you introduce the track Truth. When I gave you my sin at the foot of the cross, I promise to serve only you. When I look what remained in my sad empty heart, was there anything left to do? Well, you gave me the truth of Nick Levens and the band with the song 
called Truth. Uh, Nick, of course, was my special guest this morning. And if you would like to know more about Kingdom Calling, do get in touch. And if you want them to come along to your church, I'm sure they will be delighted to respond to that invitation.